Hello friends, welcome to ADO.NET tutorial. In this video, we will see how to use the data tables load options. So the data table provides a load method that can take load options and the load option will help how to merge data when the data already exists in the data table. So in the last video we talked about XML support, right? Now we will proceed with the data table load option. The load method of a data table takes data reader and loads data from data reader to populate itself. That means the load method of the data table can take a data reader. The data reader will have data from the database and the data table's load method will read the content from data reader and populate itself. The load method of a data table takes data reader and loads the data from data reader to populate itself. Right? So the data reader will supply the data to the uh, data table. The load method also takes one more parameter. The parameter one is data reader. It can take one more parameter called load options. Right? This load option tells how to merge the content. Merge in the sense, let's assume that the data table already have some data in it. And some data is coming from the data reader, which is read from the database. So the load option tells how to merge the existing data with the incoming data. Incoming data is from data reader. Merging the content works when data table is set with a primary key. Right? So when uh, we set primary key, merging is possible. Why? Because when we want to merge two rows, for example, Let's state that this is your data table, right? And we will assume that we already have some data in the data table. And there is a data reader which also holds some data, right? So this is what called incoming data. This is data reader and this one is a data table, right? So if there are two rows, matching rows, so when we talk about matching rows, uh, under what basis we say the two rows are matching rows? So based on some key column. So let's state that the first column, ID column, which is a primary key column, and that ID column exists here also. When ID matches, we can say that these two rows are equal. So merge will happen between these two rows. Since other rows are independent, they will not be affected. But uh, based on your primary key, if two rows are matching, then the merging option comes into play. Let's consider the query below, which populates the data reader. Here we are talking about two entities, right? One is data reader and another one is data table. And using the data table load, we want to make use of load option to state how to deal with these matching rows. Now, let's consider query below, which populates the data reader. So data reader reads data from the database, right? And here we are assuming that data table already have some data and the data reader is reading new data from the DB. So this is the query. This time we are using the pubs uh, database and we are picking author ID, author last name, city and state from author's table of the pubs uh, database. In our previous XML support uh, video, we used the North Windy database. This time we are using the pubs database. Right? 
where author id in so we are picking a specific uh, rows from the author's table so we specify three ids thereby picking three rows and you can see those rows here right we have author id author name city and state author id author name city state four column we are picking and based on author id we filter three records so this is data reader right that means this is the incoming record let's also state the data table is populated with data as shown below so this is our data tables data or we can state this is existing data right incoming data through data reader data table already have this data there are two matching rows based on author id so if you see the matching rows are one here so this is a matching row right eight nine one five which is not here two three one five this is also a matching row so here we will set author id as the primary key and based on primary key the incoming and the existing row when we examine there are two matching rows right based on the author id let's say the first row is modified after initial load say here this is the modified row after the initial load so when data table is loaded we have james and we changed it as james one then here sam joe's and we changed that as sam joe's two ca we are leaving it as it is so james two james one and sam joe's two sam joe's one so that's the modification we did now we have three types of data rows one is incoming rows data row which is available in data reader so all these stuffs are incoming rows right so the next one is original row existing row in the data table which is not yet modified that means we can state this is original row in terms of data table this is also a original row right so when data table is initially loaded it was loaded with these two data and that's why we state row 2 and row 3 are original data current row that's this one 3 because the data after initial load is modified so current row row that is modified after the load right this is the existing row and which is not yet modified original row and this is current row or we some people will call it as a dirty row the data table method accept changes commits the changes displayed in it that means the dirty row or current row will go as original row after the accept changes the method reject changes reverts the current rows or modified row to original row right because we are not committing it we are rejecting the changes since we are rejecting the changes on the data tables data row it will go to original state from its current state suppose um, james one is what we modified right and the original is james once you reject the change we will move to the original state of james that means the initial load state 
load option tells how the merge between data table right which contains some existing rows and data reader should happen so that's what we are going to study in this video we will use load option and merge two rows and see how this load option is working below are the load options let's implement the code change before exploring each option that means we will load some initial data to our uh, data table and we will come back to this slide again now let's go to the demo so now we are inside the visual studio we will open our launcher and this time we will explore data table load option right so ex03 data table load option we will close this this is from our uh, previous uh, example and here if you see we already designed the form and when i bring the property window you can see the name is dgv authors and we dropped a data grid view after that we have three buttons here right cmd show then we have a list box and list box contains three options and using the items collection editor we added three options one is overwrite preserve and upset these are all the options we are going to study we will pass these load options when we are loading and merging the data so show initial data that's one button then load from db this is one more button cmd load from db then we have cmd revert all right now we will click on this show initial data so we already have using statement to make use of system dot data dot sql client next at class level this is our form class right ex03 data table load option here we are having a member variable right and the member variable is authors private data table authors when we click the show button we need to create data table and populate some uh, sample data in it this time we are not uh, taking data from the database but we are cooking it in memory and uh, placing that in the data table so this is the code we are pasting it from our uh, sample you can download the code from video description it's the same we are creating the data table and then we are uh, adding the columns so in one of our previous video we used the same technique we created data table we added columns to the columns collection right then we populated some sample data same stuff we are doing here there is a data table we are accessing the columns collection and adding some uh, sample column author id author last name city state and the type here we are using is a string why because in our data table i mean in our data base all these are string data type that means we are cat data type that's why when we are creating the column we are having the matching data type associated to the column so the column name is right column name is author id here and type is string likewise we formed four column and added that to our data table next here we are specifying the primary key right we are creating a data column array and we are calling that as a primary key new data column of one that means we are creating only one data column here right and 
authors dot columns of author id so in the previous step itself we already added some column on the authors data table now we are referring authors of columns of author id and we are picking that column that means here we added four column right in that four column we are picking one column and adding that to this p key column so this is also a normal data column and we are calling that as p key now we can state that we specified the primary key from our existing column from our existing column author id au underscore id is the primary key right so now we go back to our authors table we access the primary key property right and we set p key why we are creating array here is sometimes we may need to set primary key by combination of two or more columns that's why we form the array here the primary key property accepts an data column array to denote the primary key and we specified that author id is the primary key in our data table right and if you see this authors is declared at a class level so first in the load click we are forming the data table authors and now we formed the primary key also so after adding the primary key to our authors table we add three sample rows which we already saw in the which we already saw in the um, video previously right we have three in memory rows and we are using the authors table rows collection and adding three rows right we also saw that row one and row three are duplicates right because one one seven six and two three one nine that will come from a data reader also in later stage also if you look at here we have james and sanjos right after loading the content we will change this as james one and j sanjos one to make this first column as dirty or current row all right so we are adding these rows to our data table after that we are accepting the changes that means these three rows in the data table will become original row since we accept the changes here right finally we make use of the data grid view right this is our data grid view and set the data source to our authors table now let's run this and we will click on show initial data and if you see this is our initial data right so since we accepted the change in the load itself all our committed rows our original rows we can state now if i change this as james one and sanjos one right now i am clicking somewhere outside this first row becomes a current row and these two rows are original rows right now we will go ahead and click the revert button and click on revert changes as well so we already studied that accept changes will um, commit the row and make those as original row all right after that when you make any change the row becomes dirty and we will call that as current row when you click i mean when you state reject changes the current row becomes original row or the changes will be reverted now let's explore that right here i am changing any to any one and nagi to nagi two and let's click outside 
now we have two current rows because these two are modified now let's click on revert this will reject the changes right in the initial data after forming these rows we accepted the changes the row became original right now we modified these two rows and if you accept the change these two becomes original but instead we are rejecting the changes and if you see the change will go off and we will have our original accepted changes the original accepted changes is here right this is the original row all right this is the base to learn the load option further now let's close this and we will go back to the slide now let's look at overwrite changes right overwrite changes both original and current rows are replaced by the loaded values data loaded from db via data reader becomes the original row right so that's the overwrite changes so in our data table we may have original row you know by this time what is original row and it may have current row also right when we state overwrite changes on merged rows both original as well as current rows are replaced by the loaded values data loaded from the db becomes the original row now let's go to the demo and see this option and how it works now let's uh, implement second part of our uh, sample load from db right so prepare sql for command here we have the SQL string select author ID author name city state from authors where author ID in here there are ID right we intentionally make two IDs matching here 1176 1176 and 2319 this time we are pulling data from the database for that we are forming the SQL string right from authors table we are pulling it next next we have a sql connection and for this connection we are setting the connection string property and we are setting that from our pubs database right after that here we are creating the sql command and to sql command we are passing the sql string and the connection object the connection is to pubs database and multiple time in this video course we saw how to set the connection string as part of the project properties now we are opening the connection here after that from command object we are making call to execute reader and we have a SQL reader here right SQL execute reader will give the SQL reader and we know that this reader will have the data retrieved from the author's table the reader will have three rows of data here we are not iterating through the reader in our previous example we saw once the data is read in the reader we will iterate through it but this time we are holding the data in the reader and this time authors authors is our authors table right it already have some sample data right authors data table load this time we are making call to the load method on the data table and we are giving the data reader here we are asking to load the data from this data reader and have that in the data table then we make use of load options and for that we take the selected index and uh, summing up that with one lst load option selected index which is nothing but this one right so load options there are um, three load options we are exploring here 
right the first load option is uh, overwrite the second one is preserve and third one is upset so that's the load option we are specifying it from our uh, list box if you need you can directly specify the load option like load option dot you can specify these options but this time we want to make it a uh, dynamic that's why we are using the list box after that we are closing the connection right because the data table is loaded and we specified the load option also and we know that author's data table already have some changes when we are loading from uh, the data reader we want to see what happens or how it is merging the data now let's uh, pick this uh, string we'll go to a school server we will stripe out all these operators from authors where author id in this then we should switch to pubs db right we will execute this is the row we are uh, okay these three rows we are pulling from the database and we want to merge that with the data table now we will run it so this is our initial data now we know that the matching rows right 1176 is matching 2319 is also matching right now let's make the first row as dirty right we will choose overwrite option and load content from db and if you see the any is already existing row here it will not get affected right but row one and row two row one is the current row or modified row row three is the original row both will be replaced by the incoming row james one will become white and nagi will become dull right now and green is the new row from the incoming one now we will click on load from db and if you see the first row is changed as white the third i mean nagi is also changed as 2319 right 2319 changed as dull and this is the existing row in the data table and this is a new row that came from the um, database so that's the overwrite option so the overwrite option um, modified both current as well as existing original rows any is not touched because it's not a uh, matching row all right now we will close this and rerun it so just now we saw the demo for overwrite change now let's look at the preserve changes option the original rows are replaced by db rows and committed also current rows values are shown in the data table so the current row is what called preserved the original rows are replaced by db rows and committed also the current rows values are shown in the a data table when we reject the changes we get content loaded from the database right when we accept the changes current rows will be committed and this way we will preserve the modification done on a number of rows so what we mean to say here is once you state preserve changes option 
the incoming row will not affect the modified rows all right now we will go to demo and explore this option let me reiterate this once again the original rows are replaced by db rows and committed right so that means those original rows becomes i mean original rows are replaced by db and then committed that means the original rows now are one that came from the db also current row values are shown in the db table that means they are preserved so when incoming rows replaces the original rows it doesn't touch the uh, rows modified by the user imagine in the data grid view if a user modified some 15 or 16 rows right with the preserve changes load option those 15 rows are preserved the incoming row so the incoming row does not affect the original rows all right now when we reject the changes we get the content loaded from the database right reject means we are rejecting the changes of the current row that means original rows are from the database so you will see the content loaded from the database right when we accept the changes current rows will be committed this way we will preserve the modification done on n number of rows so once you reject the changes the original rows will go off and the new original rows which is our database incoming rows that will be displayed but um, when you accept the changes the modified rows will be committed and that becomes the original row so this is the way we are preserving the changes now let's go to the demo all right now we will run this once again load data table show initial data and once again we will modify our first row right this will become dirty row and we know our uh, incoming rows this time we are choosing the preserve option and load from db now what happens since the first row is modified right the incoming row 1176 white will not replace this current row right but in the background it will be here and it becomes the original row right the original row is actually james now the current row is james one after the load option the original row will be white and modified row is james one right now the third row also will get replaced at 2319 nagi will become dull and then we will see annie and green right now let's load the content and you can see that the modified row will not be touched it will be seen still in the view but in the background the original row becomes james to white note we haven't yet loaded the data at present the original row is james modified is james one after the load the original will be white and modified is james but when the load happens it will not replace this value now let's do that and you will see james one is still there and nagi is replaced and you see this is ex existing row uh, and not merging and this is the new row from the da data reader now when i click revert the original row now not james the original row is white when i click revert you will see white there see white and menlo park right now let's do this once again We don't have a button for accept changes but if you have a button for accept changes and 
when you make a call to accept changes right here we are loading the content content is loaded now if i accept the change the james one and the san jose one becomes the original and it will get committed on this data table now let's look at the last option absurd loads content from the data reader replaces the data table value right incoming rows here we are talking about incoming rows replaces the data table values current row values are also replaced current row in the sense whatever you modify if you modify james to james one that will also get replaced but the commit will not be performed with this load option right if commit is not performed so here in all these two option if you see from db we are reading the data we are replacing it in the uh, data table then we are committing it right in preserve changes we are not committing the modified i mean in preserve changes also we are committing the data here if you see we load the data from data table right from database i mean here we load the data from data reader into the data table we will merge the content and we will keep it as uncommitted but we will show the modified content but we won't commit that means now let's uh, read this again read content from data reader replaces the data table value data table value only we will replace current row values are also replaced right but the commit will not be performed so that's the one here commit will not be performed with this load option means data table is in original state right so the data table is loaded with some initial data right let's call that as one then there is some incoming data for the replace right even though we show two here we are not committing it that means the original data is one only or whatever we initially loaded to the data table means data table is in its original state it just shows the incoming rows in it incoming rows in it in the sense the data that is coming from the data reader when we reject the changes we go back to the original version all right we go back to the original version so whatever is coming from the database that will be the data rows right it will show the data see for example loads content from the data reader replaces the data table value that means previously we manually changed james to james one right it's almost equivalent to that one it reads the data replaces the content keeps the row in uncommitted state current row so replaces mean it will replace all the content current row as well as uh, uh, original rows since commit is not performed when you reject the change he will go back to the original state and when we commit the change we will go back to the database changes so that's the upset option it may be a bit confusing but uh, let's go to the demo and you will understand it now let's run this again data table load show initial data and this time we will make nagi as a current row or data row san san diego one right we will choose the absurd option right now we will load the content from db and if you see it will replace both original and current or modified content with uh, the incoming row right now we will load the content from db so 
this is the current row right the current row becomes 2319 dull and palo alto right but the incoming row also will become dirty so it's kind of now i typed nagi one here right now it's kind of typing dull here that means the state is changing from current row to current row in current row itself we are making the change from nagi one to dull and after the merge the content will not be committed right now let's load the content from db and if you see here we are just seeing the modified content but these rows or whatever is coming from the database this is coming from the database this is also coming from the database and this is also coming from the database all these three rows are not committed right so since it is not committed when i reject the changes i will see the content from our initial load we don't have accept changes now if you accept the changes all this row will become original right now row 1 whatever is loaded from the database white green dull white green dull all these three rows are dirty rows so now let me click revert and you will see the original rows even here you are not seeing nagi one right so that's the load option here now you know what is over right what is preserved and what is absurd since we are completing the demo i will suggest you can watch this load option once again to understand it clearly and if you need you can put one more button here for accept changes and you can further explore it with both revert and accept changes that's all here in this video just now you saw the demo thank you for watching bye